And right now, Matthew's going to bet his jacks. 325,000. Yeah, Steve Brecker. He's going to be thinking the same thing. The guy didn't raise I don't put him on an ace. I think my jacks are good. I'm calling him. And his jacks, in fact, are good because he's got the best ticket. You can become the first ever WPT Prime Online Champion by winning the feature event in the WPT Global Spring Festival. It's happening May 21st to June 4th. There's buy-in levels from $1.10 up to $2,500. Simply click the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up and your first $110 tournament ticket is free. You see our chip leader, Tyler Patterson, with $7.4 million. The lone amateur at the table, Matthew Burnett, is in sixth place right now. He came to the final table as a big chip leader. Got some work to do now. That's what they're playing for. The winner tonight, taking home over $818,000. Okay, and he's 20,000 blinds, 80 and 160. Here we go, David Diaz. First to act, he was a poker pro out of Memphis, Tennessee, 27 years old. He's got a 10-8 of spades. So has a World Series of Poker bracelet to his credit. Going to raise it up here, makes it 320,000 to go. And now Ben Hamnett with a pair of threes will Get make this call. Get him, Tiger. I always like to call with small pairs. Talking to me? Ophir Moore. No, I'm talking to Ben. He's tighter than a Roseanne Barr <laughs> wetsuit, folds his hand. And now we're around to Matthew Burnitz. Well, what we've seen from this lone amateur at the table so far is he's played about every pot. He finally throws one away, Vince. And here we go to Steve Brecker, 66-year-old senior WPT champion, has made the call as well. Yep, Steve going for a second WPT title tonight, makes the call with the ace nine of spades. And an ace comes right on the flop. Steve Brecker out in front with the two aces and checks. David Diaz. Nothing hitting there for him, and he's going to check it. And Ben Hamnett also checking, and now a three comes off. Incredible. This could spell doom, or at least serious trouble for Steve Brecker here. He checks the aces again. Diaz also checking. Ben Hamnett hitting three of a kind on the turn. Hallelujah. Well, Vince, you're never going to think the three helped the guy. So when he bets here, I don't see Steve Brecker getting away from these aces the way this hand was played. 35 he's betting. There's the Royal Flush Girls Social Bar. Boy, the Royal Flush Girls are enjoying the moment. Look at Brecker. He's got his big aces. Well, he's just falling into a trap here, Vince, but you can't help it the, the way the hand was played. David out. And we're going to go to the river. And a 10 comes up. Oh, man, 10 of hearts. Steve Brecker going to check again, trying to get off cheap. Ben Hammett going to hammer away. Well, can't blame him. Hit the joker on the turn. Oh, speaking of joker, he's done stand-up comedy. He wants to use his money to start a film production company. And he's going to stick out a bet with his three of a kind, 1760000 in chips. I just think it's very difficult for Steve to get away from this hand. Brecker is a pilot, loves to fly his own plane. What a great time to fly away if he could possibly. Call. Oh no, he's got to make the call. Yeah, Steve, a retired successful businessman, not so successful in this pot. Oh, he's sickened by that. He's thinking to himself, why couldn't I have taken the initiative and just bet when I hit the aces on the flop? Oh, position, position, position. Folds his hand. Oh, fear more. Second time in the WPT final table. Won't play this. Made this final table just a couple years ago. He's back again. Tyler and Matthew both out, and now it's around to Steve Brecker. Now Steve with the King 8 offsuit. It's the battle of the blind, the battle of the two short stacks. See what Steve's going to do here. He knows King High is favored over two random Holy. cards. Whoa, he has gone all in. No call. But David Diaz with ace nine has made the call. Well, nice call by David Diaz there. These guys have almost exactly the same amount of chips. Steve might have one more big blind than his opponent, but David Diaz in great shape to double up here. Well, the blinds have gone up to one and two, so it's so expensive. Brecker takes a shot, tried to just take it down, but he's in trouble right now. Here's the flop, seven, five, three. No help for Steve Brecker. He's in a barrel full of trouble. Steve Brecker, a WPT champion. Yeah, he's going to have to catch a king or an eight or two runners to make a straight to win this pot. 
And that's a four of spades there. Well, there's one of the runners to make a straight. So WPT champion Steve Brecker needs some help. Otherwise, he'll be circling the drain for sure. Can he get it? David Diaz with a big chance of doubling up. And it's an eight. Oh! Tough luck for David Diaz right there. Out drawn on the river to get eliminated. Ouch. What a stinging blow. Wow. So David Diaz was stunned. Taking it back. You win. It happened so quickly, oh, and he is gone. Oh, it okay, huh? I'm sorry. Right. Good end. Well, David Diaz drowning at the river there, no doubt about it. Unfortunate for him, came to this final table in second chip position, but just wasn't his night out tonight in sixth place. With some hard luck on the river, he'll take home 167,000. Let's hear what he has to say. Didn't really make any hands that, that uh, really got anything going, so that's about it, really, that's it. Okay, buddy, thank you. Thanks. You can become the first ever WPT Prime Online Champion by winning the feature event in the WPT Global Spring Festival. It's happening May 21st to June 4th. There's buy-in levels from $1.10 up to $2,500. Simply click the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up and your first $110 tournament ticket is free. Action on Tyler Patterson, a quick fold, and now Matthew Burnett's <laughs> a legitimate hand this time, pair of jacks. And he will raise with it, makes it 5.25 to go. Steve Brecker out. Now it's on Ben Hamnett. Ace eight. Well, because Matthew plays so many pots, you can understand why he's contemplating three betting here. And indeed he does. Goes to close to 1.3. Ophir Moore out. And now it's back all on in. Matthew. He says Come all on. in with the Jacks. Well, he says if you can beat this hand, good luck to you. And obviously we see Ben can't beat it, so he's going out. Yeah. Hey, Matthew yeah, Burnett, the IT engineer for over 23 years, going to take that pot. Here's the Royal Flush Girls Social Bar where the Royal Flush Girls are at. Anyone can come out on the tour and sit there at the World Flush Girl Social Bar and talk to the ladies. Right now, Steve Brecker, first to play right here. Steve, a successful retired <laughs> businessman, loves playing on the WPT. He's a pilot, flies his own plane to the events. Looking to get his name on the WPT Champions Cup for the second time. I'll tell you, the guy's in shape, Vince. He works out every day. And this time he has Ace Queen, which is 4.50 to go. Ben going out with ace four. Now Ophir Moore going to fold around to Tyler Patterson. He cannot play. Well, Matthew looks at ace three offsuit out of the big blind. Yeah, he's called it. Well, he got himself in trouble a time or two by calling Razor with ace and small cards earlier. Let's see how this one works out for him. Let's come 10, five, deuce, all hearts. Yeah, Brecker with the ace of hearts, too. Yeah, Matthew does have a heart in his hand and a straight draw, but it goes check, check. I am surprised Steve Brecker checked there with the nut flush draw. Now six comes off. No help to either player. Matthew going to check again. Brecker is going to check. No continuation bet. Here we go to the river. Eight of spades. No help to either player. Matthew Burnett's now. And he's going to make a bet here, man. Well, that is creative. He's saying if Brecker keeps checking, I could maybe steal this. Maybe he's put Brecker on an ace and a big card. Thinks he might lay it down if he bets. That's exactly the case here. And you see Brecker let that hand get away from him, in my opinion, by not betting on the flop or the turn. This is going to be on Tyler Patterson, the former poker dealer, now professional player out of Seattle, Washington. Now the 8-7 gives it up. Matthew Burnett's going to take a break. And now Steve Brecker. Now Steve pitching his hand. And Ben, as you can see with the 9-7 of hearts out of the small blind, limps in and calls. Oh, fear more now. With an opportunity to raise with a 10-8, doesn't do so. So we will see the flop. Now content to see a flop, and here it comes. A flop 6-3 deuce with two hearts. Good flop. For Ben as he's flopped a flush draw. 
He's going to come out with a bet, it appears. Yep, 275000 with the four flush. Oh, fear now. Wow, he has no hand, no draw. He's just going to try to make a move here, I guess. And what's great about it is that he has the perception as the tightest player at the table, and he's going to make a plunge move with nothing, absolute zip and pip. Well, he's raised it. Nearly 600,000 here. Strong move, but we know that Ben has a strong possibility here when you have a four flush. Well, against a looser player, Ben, you might just go ahead and raise here to try to take the pot down now without drawing to the flush, but against a guy that doesn't play very many pots, and now all of a sudden he's raised you 600,000 here, you might want to play this flush draw a little more conservative for fear he might set you in if you raise him back. Exactly what he does, he just calls. So to the turn we go. Ophir must be in fear right now. A four of clubs on the turn. Does give Ben a gut shot straight draw to go along with this flush draw, but after getting raised on the flop, he's gonna check here. Will Ophir fire another shell? That's the question. And that's what heart this guy is showing in this pot. No hand, no draw, no anything. Yet 1.2 million going to the center. I just love it, the way he set up his game tonight. Perception at the table of playing so tight and solid. You see Ophir's brothers and cousins on the rail sweating him on. They'd really be sweating if I knew what he had here, which is nothing. <laughs> Ironically, it is the best hand, but no chance in the world he can believe it's the best hand. His opponent has to have exactly a 7-8 or a 7-9. It's the only way he can have the best hand here. Ben would love to take a look at the final card, catch his flush, and break this Ophir. Oh, man. Perplexing moment for Ben Hapnett. And when you don't raise on the flop with a flush draw, now you're in a tough spot. Now, he does have a straight draw as well, but just the respect he has for Ophir. As you said, Vince, he doesn't play many pots. He picks his spots. Sorry, yes. So rare. But when he does, they're effective, yeah. as he did right here. That, folks, is why this guy is called the beast of Borgata. Well, Ophir is doing it. He takes down that pot. He's got a 10-5. He's going to fold his hand. And here's Ophir Moore with a jack eight of hearts. Just pulled off a brilliant bluff. He folds the hand, Tyler out, and now it's around to Matthew Brunitz. Well, so much on the line for these guys. The difference between the next guy going out and the guy who wins is over 600,000, so a lot of money up for grabs now. Matthew Brunitz, the chip leader, gonna call. Well, limps in in the small blind with the jack five of clubs, and Steve Brecker, happy to see a flop with the jack eight of diamonds. And both players have flopped a pair of jacks. Yeah, flop comes up ace, jack four. Bench, you're not going to put your opponent on an ace in this situation because neither guy raised before the flop. That is correct. And right now, Matthew's going to bet his jacks. 325,000. Well, Steve Brecker is going to be thinking the same thing. The guy didn't raise. I don't put him on an ace. I think my jacks are good. I'm calling him. And his jacks, in fact, are good because he's got the best kicker, the eight. Going to the turn, three of diamonds. Three of diamonds comes off. This gives Matthew a wheel draw. He's going to check the two jacks. And Steve checks him right behind. Just doesn't want to fall in any traps here. But he's going to because a deuce comes off on the river. This gives Matthew a straight. How good is this guy running? Oh, that's pretty solid right there. Now, how much do you bet so you get called? That's an art in itself, and it looks like 750. Call. And a quick call by Steve Brecker. A snap call by Brecker. He sees it got beat on the river here. Not going to be happy about that. Oh, and Matthew loving that. You know, he's a very superstitious guy. Matthew is. He's afraid to upset the poker gods. He actually hasn't looked at the payouts of this tournament yet because he's too superstitious to look. Well, you and him think alike then. <laughs> on Ben, he quickly folds his hand, and now Ophir Moore with an attractive ace-10. 
You know, Fear hasn't picked up many hands at this final table, well, that's for sure. We saw him make a big move to win a pot earlier. Here he's going to raise it up with an ace 10. Can't blame him for doing that. He makes it 450 to go. Right behind him, Tyler Patterson. Wow, just has Acey Ducey, but he is going to three bet with it here. We've seen a couple sterling plays by Tyler at this final table. Matthew out. One we didn't think was so sterling when he slow played a pair of jacks and got himself beat. Oh, fear mucks his hand, so Tyler Patterson hey, takes control of the hand. Nobody. Takes the pot. Hey, what timing by Tyler there to three bet in that spot with an ace deuce. Okay, and right now the Annies are going up to 30,000. The blinds 120 and 240. Here we go. Action going to Ophir Moore. And he's going to muck this hand, Tyler Patterson, with an ace king right behind him. Yep, Tyler going nowhere here, that's for sure. Starting to heat up, makes it 575 to go. Matthew out. Steve Brecker. Now the short stack at the table, but he picks oh. up the ladies. Yep. Well, you're going to see fireworks here. Falling. He goes all in. Well, can't blame Steve for that, obviously. Most people would do it. Especially on the short stack with five left here. Got the dream Call. hand, two queens. Then falls Tyler quickly calls with the ace king. You know, this is a classic race that comes up a lot in No wow. Limit Hold'em. Ace king versus two queens. Oh, man. If Steve oh, Breaker wants to catch the second WPT title tonight, he must win this race to stay alive. Played for five days, and now we got to do this. Steve Brecker, <laughs> WPT champion with the queens with five cards to come. There you see Tyler's wife, Miley, calling for an ace or a king here. Well, the work is done. Who's going to get lucky? All right, we are flopping at Pagata. 9-4-3. So far, so good for Brecker. Oh, he sits there so casual. What a nice flop for Steve. <laughs> His chance of doubling Dudes are up five. becoming I'm a two-time WPT yeah. champion in good shape right now as we go to the turn. <laughs> Everybody on their feet at Morgata. Here comes the turn card. Well, the board comes off the eight of diamonds. So we are going to the river. Steve Brecker just must dodge an ace or a king. Let's see if he can do it. Steve Brecker cannot look at the table. <laughs> He just right, been playing poker to too long to do that. Yeah. Everyone on their feet. Steve Brecker is going to double up and stay alive. Yeah. Yep. Cool, calm, and collected. Steve Brecker, like he knew he was going to win it, going to double up. Well, Tyler Patterson taking a hit right there, but obviously certainly can't blame him for going all in right there. We saw Steve Brecker move all in earlier with a King-8 all suit. You can become the first ever WPT Prime Online Champion by winning the feature event in the WPT Global Spring Festival. It's happening May 21st to June 4th. There's buy-in levels from $1.10 up to $2,500. Simply click the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up and your first $110 tournament ticket is free. Matthew Burnett's the chip leader with over 12 million. The so-called amateur out of Bear, Delaware. Let's take a look at his hand. Look at this pair of tens. Oh, very nice hand in a five-handed poker game. And when this guy bets, he gets action because he's in almost every hand. He makes it 600,000 to go. Steve Brecker with a king-queen right behind him. Oh, tough decision here with a couple guys behind you. Steve's going to let it go. Now, Ben Hamnett with King Queen, but it's suited. Two clubs. And you can see he's not going anywhere. The question is, is he going to three bet with his hand or just call? No, he just calls. Now, these are the two chip leaders going after each other. Ophir Moore won't play. Tyler goes out as well. So so. Two tens versus the King Queen suited. Flop comes two, three, four, all spades. Neither player has a spade. Action on Matthew. He's going to check. Surprised he checked the tens there. Ben checked right behind him. Six of spades comes off. And now four spades and a four card straight flush out there. Now again, Matthew checks. Now the checking's over right now. Ben's going to bet here in case his opponent's just got ace high. Might get him off the hand. 
Yeah, Ben Hammett gonna make a bet 445. Yeah, flat me again. And you have the over pair, but it's a disaster when four spades comes up there and you don't have any, so. Matthew throws his hand away, shows him the two tens. Ooh, ooh, That's ooh. gonna make Ben feel better. But All right. there's a case, Ben. Even though the three spades on the board, they're tiny spades that don't figure to pair your opponents, you have to make a continuation bet with two tens, in my mind there, even without a spade. Five players remain. Action on Ophir Moore. This is his local casino. He's playing shrewdly tonight. He folds this hand. Tyler out as well. And Matthew, our chip leader, not going to play. Well, Steve Brecker looks down at a 10-9 offsuit. Yep, he's in the small blind. He's just going to call it. Yep, going to limp in here with a 10-9 offsuit. And when he does that, you're sitting there with a king-10 of diamonds. You think you got the best hand. That's exactly the case here. I believe Ben thinks it, and he's going to raise it. Why not? Makes it 580 to go. Yep, another 340,000 to Steve, but he says, look, you just can't push me around like a mop. Good change. I'm going to take a look at a flop here. Oh, that's right. Steve's going to get stubborn. He's saying these young bucks can't keep pushing me around. Take that. I'll call. I'll try to get lucky. Here we go with the first three. Look at this flop. Seven, eight, nine, two of them diamonds. Just a, a wow flop for both players. Steve's got top pair and open and straight draw. Steve checks it. As you can see, Ben's got the flush draw and the same open and straight draw. I think we're going to see fireworks here, Vince. Somebody bets. You're going to see some raises. All right, Benny's going to make the bet. 565. Now, Brecker with top pair and an open and a straight. The hand plays itself. All in. And there he goes. He makes the all in plunge. He's up against a monster draw. I call. And he's got the call. Ben Hammond has called. Well, Ben must catch a king or a diamond to win the pot. His open end straight draw will just get him a tie. Steve Brecker out in front here with a 2 9. Steve Brecker, a WPT champion, going after his second title. The biggest draw possible. Steve has played 94 WPT events. He's cashed 16 times, three final tables. Diamond. Who said diamonds? Yeah. Ben's calling for diamonds. Diamonds. I got lots of chop outs. Massive pot, over 11.5 million in this pot. Diamonds are a king. Diamonds are a king. Diamonds are a king. Diamond comes right off. Nines and eights, but it's not over. Somebody yell, deuce the clubs. As you can see, Steve needs to catch a nine or an eight to make a full house to stay alive. Otherwise, Steve Brecker will be our fifth place finisher. Blank, that is right. And his dream of becoming a two-time WPT champion, gone. Let's see, though, if he can get the suck out. Down the river we go. And clasping his hands, holding his breath, right, saying, please, no nine, no eight. Here we go. It's an ace. So there you go. Steve Brecker is going to have to wait till another day to take down a second WPC title out tonight in fifth place. Always good to see Steve Brecker. His earnings will be 206000 He's walking away with his pillow. A great player. Let's go see what Steve has to say. I think I didn't play that well tonight. Um, I mean, I didn't really do anything too stupid, but uh, some of the marginal plays I think I was on the wrong side of. Um, and I was unlucky in a few spots.